One of the most exciting times of the year is when rumors start rolling around for GPUs, such as we're seeing now with the NVIDIA 3000 series, like the 3080 and the 3080 Ti. But I wanna caution you guys just to take everything with a grain of salt. Just listen to what's coming out, but don't jump to any conclusions yet. So let's talk about this. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to subscribe if you like my content, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Are you excited for the new 3000 series GPUs and do you buy into all the hype? Now, GPU rumors and announcements, I know, it's super exciting. Anytime anything comes out at all, we all get super hyped up, but I wanna warn you guys just to take a step back Take everything with a grain of salt, analyze the information that's coming out, and don't make any buying decisions based on this. I think that's really the key here because I remember for a couple of generations what ends up happening. For example, when the RTX 20 series was coming out, I mean, the rumors were rampant. They were saying the performance was gonna be absolutely incredible. There was just gonna be a night and day difference. That hype machine was really up. And what happens is, you know, people, they start to consider their current hardware, if it's even worth holding on to, if they should stop from upgrading because there's going to be something that's going to make it absolutely obsolete and what ended up happening when you went from the 10 series to the 20 series and now a small caveat here we did have that mining craze right in between the transition between the 10 series and the 20 series so prices and availability were definitely skewed but one thing remained constant i remember the hype around the 20 series gpus such as the 2080 2080 ti etc the hype was palpable. I mean, people were saying that the performance was gonna be absolutely insane. And even when Nvidia actually announced the graphics cards, one thing was a little bit weird. They stopped talking about the actual performance in terms of like frames per second. And they started talking about this weird stuff, which is ray tracing as we know it today. They even said, how can you not have ray tracing in your life? So that was already a little bit fishy because what was ray tracing and what did it mean in the months coming up? Well, really what it translated to was that the previous generation GPUs, such as the 1080, 1080 Ti, really weren't outdated yet. I mean, even when the 2080 came out and the 2080 Ti, they were good GPUs and they were a certain percentage point better than their predecessor, but definitely was not revolutionary. Like if you had a 1080 Ti, even up till today, you could really say that you have an up-to-date GPU. Why? Ray tracing never really panned out like we thought it would. We thought it was gonna be like a revolutionary technology. You were gonna get good performance and amazing visuals with all the lights and effects. But what happened was barely any games were really supporting ray tracing technology when it came out. Um, the games that did like Battlefield 5 had really bad frames per second penalties that made the performance terrible unless you were on something like a 2080 Ti. Even then the performance was really, really bad. And with a few updates, they did improve on that. But still, even today, if you have a 1080 Ti, I don't think you need to worry about a 2080 Ti. So where does that leave us? Now that the 20 series has matured a little bit, it's still kind of an immature platform because I don't think ray tracing ever really came to fruition. And something else that Nvidia promised but also was another big blunder, NVLink. Like we thought that you were gonna be able to finally SLI or NVLink two GPUs, like two 2080 Ti's. And because of NVIDIA's promised higher bandwidth, we were gonna have amazing performance. And that didn't happen. I bought into it. I got SLI or NVLink 2080 Ti's. And I sold the second card within a few months because games didn't even utilize it. In the beginning, Battlefield 5, which was one of the major games back then, wasn't even supporting dual GPUs. You would have to use like a Battlefield 1 profile or something like that until they changed it and updated it. So I thought that was pretty ridiculous and I wasn't seeing any benefits at all, even though during NVIDIA's presentation, not even the rumors leading up to it, their pre actual presentation really hyped up NVLink, I think, considerably. So that leaves us today with sort of the 2080 Super being around. We have a 2080 Ti. The NVIDIA 
3000 series rumors are really starting to stack up. There was a new supposed rumor coming out today that the 3080 Ti is going to have about 20 gigabytes of DDR6 memory, which is, you know, pretty ridiculous. It's a lot more than the previous generation 2080 Ti. But once again, what does that mean? Is that going to be a better difference in games and frames per second. I would rather hear these as saying, oh, if you have a 2080 Ti at 4K and you get a 3080 Ti, you're gonna get 20% better performance in terms of your frames per second. If you're getting 60 frames per second, let's say you're now gonna get another 12 additional frames per second or something along those lines. At least you have a nice number. But when you're talking about intangible things like ray tracing and things that supposedly will improve performance, you can't really tell. So my word of advice is, um, I've seen this game go around various, I've seen, I've seen sort of this play out in various generations of GPUs. Um, you know, if you need a GPU right now, don't worry about the rumors. Don't think it's gonna be coming out in like March or something like that. Just go and get your 2070 or 2080 or 2080 Ti. You're gonna be fine and chances are that while of course the 3080 and the 3080 Ti are gonna have better performance because that's just how things work. You always get better performance. You don't know what the price is gonna be. As we saw from the 10 to 20 series, the price really almost doubled. The 1080 Ti, which is still a great GPU today, by the way, used to be 699. The 2080 Ti is like 1200 bucks. So that's a considerable price increase for, yeah, the 2080 Ti does perform better, but is it really that much better? You could buy a 2070 for that price difference. So during the next few months, we're gonna have an absolute onslaught of these Nvidia rumors. And while the GPU is really exciting, it's the most exciting part of a computer, people are really, really waiting for AMD to announce what they're calling Big Navi. The rumors around that are even worse than the Nvidia rumors. We really know nothing. Um, they really want AMD to come in just like they did with Ryzen against Intel and really give Nvidia sort of a run for their money and bring a card that's going to perform like the 2080, the 2080 Ti at a better price. So just take everything with a grain of salt and listen to these rumors with critical ears. And if you have to make a decision on purchasing a GPU, I think you can go ahead and do that. These aren't close enough anyway to really affect that. Remember to subscribe if you like my content, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.